Limestone here was formed about 350 million years ago in the Carboniferous period when Ireland was located at the equator. The warm shallow seas of that period allowed for the deposition of limestone and a rich biodiversity over reefs similar to the Great Barrier Reef of the tropical islands today of the Caribbean. You will find in this limestone many examples of that fauna with shells of snails and bivalves and corals of many types. The limestone pavement here has been eroded and worn down by the Ice Age. It was covered by the waters of Loch Mask until about 150 years ago, the Con Canal was opened. And even if it not stabilized a navigational channel between Loch Corrib and Loch Mask, it allowed for the stabilization of the lake level in Loch Mask and Loch Cara above. This area was then revealed and it's starting to form the more regular Clinton Grikes that we might be used to in other limestone pavement like in the Burren. This pavement also showcases many very interesting features called epikarst because there is surface expression of the karst landscape. The interaction with slightly acidy water like rainwater and the limestone. Right here first we have the ubiquitous egg box pitting. This is due to the interaction of small algae with the water that dissolves then little pockets around where the algae first colonize itself. Allows for a very good grip under your shoes. This other feature is, is actually unique to the shores of Loch Mask. Not unique in its nature, but unique in its structure. This is called a tube carin or Ruhren carin. These form due to the condensation of water underneath an overhang of limestone. Most tube carins in the world would first grow deeper and wider as they grow deeper. In the Loch Mass Caves, the tube diameter stays the same as it goes deeper. And this is due to the special qualities of the water of the lake. A final feature I want to show you are these erratics. So these are stones that are not from here. This is sandstone. It would have been deposited here by the last ice age, last glacier that passed in the area. And when it dropped on the surface, and since the pavement has been allowed to interact with the element directly, rainwater would go underneath this boulder, not attack the sandstone in a similar way to the limestone, but because of the shade of the boulder, it would have more of a dissolution effect underneath it, resulting in the creation of a socket, the exact shape of the boulder over it, and the boulder starts to sink in its own socket compared to the surroundings.